Yesterday, Shape the Sioux was requesting input from residents about potential new bike trails along city streets. On TV, caught up with Steve Turco from Shape the Sioux. About the implementation of a series of cycling routes that we hope to uh, establish this summer. So we're trying to get as much input as possible on the implementation of these cycling routes. We want to hear from the public about any concerns, any suggestions on how best to do that. We, this summer we're hoping to roll out four cycling routes. Uh, Pine Street, Willow Avenue, Willoughby Wawanosh and Queen Street east of the golf course. Most of the things that we've been hearing are positive. Um, in addition to some of the suggestions on some of the routes, we've been hearing um, uh, comments and concerns about other uh, active transportation initiatives in the city, uh, other, si uh, other parts of the city that residents do want connected through cycling infrastructure. Uh, one of the key things that we've been hearing today is uh, extending the cycling route on Pine Street all the way to Second Line. So that's something that we're going to have to investigate a little bit further. But all in all, the, the comments have been very positive. Yesterday, we told you that On TV had heard from sources in the city that the Walmart at Station Mall was closing. We can confirm that for you this morning. In a news release, Walmart Canada actually said they are committed to evaluating their store network to meet customer needs and ensure continued growth strategies. The company has opened more than 20 stores over the past four years, it said. As part of the retailer's store strategy, they are closing two stores, one in Quebec and the other, of course, is the anchor store at the Station Mall here in the Sioux. The release also indicates that all associates at these two stores will be offered positions at nearby Walmart locations to better serve customers in these markets. The company does not plan to close any further stores this year. Cyclone Fanny has made landfall on India's eastern coast as a grade 5 storm lashing the empty beaches with rain and wind gusting up to 205 kilometers per hour. The India Meteorological Department says the cyclone in the Bay of Bengal hit the coastal state of Odisha around 8 this morning. India's National Disaster Response Force says around 1.2 million people have evacuated from low-lying areas of Odisha and moved to nearly 4,000 shelters. Odisha Special Relief Commissioner says communications have been disrupted in some areas, but no deaths or injuries have been reported. Fanny is the fiercest storm since 1999 when a cyclone killed around 10,000 people and devastated large parts of Odisha. President Trump signaled that he would not allow former White House counsel Don McGahn to testify before Congress. An interview with Trump aired on Fox News. Well, I've had him testifying already for 30 hours. So is the answer no? And it's really, so I don't think I can let him and then tell everybody else you can. It's done. We've been Over. through this. Uh -huh. Nobody has ever done what I've done. I've given total transparency. Mm -hmm. It's never happened before like this. So Congress they, should be... They, Congress well, they should shouldn't be, be looking anymore. This uh -huh. is all. Mm -hmm. It's done. I assume that for the $35 million, mm -hmm. they've gone through everything. Mm -hmm. My taxes, uh, my financial statements, which are phenomenal, they've gone through everything, and I'm so clean. The Special Olympics officially wrapped last night with an award banquet. Between the food, silent auction, and raffles, longtime volunteers were honored for their work with Special Olympics. On TV spoke with Constable Sean Beaulieu and one of the recipients of the prestigious award. Uh, we've had the pleasure tonight of also handing out some awards to uh, some longtime uh, athletes uh, who have been involved as well as uh, we handed away handed out a 20-year award for one of our volunteers I'll say one thing about our athletes they're they're very infectious <laughs> in a good way <clears throat> and it's uh, they quickly become your family friends all rolled up in one neat little ball you know what, uh, games are over and done with, uh, they were highly successful. Um, you know what, coming out of the games, 
uh, and having a surplus of funds that we're able to turn over uh, funds back to our local athletes. Uh, you know, it's it's nice to, to get into a fundraising scenario and successfully pay all the bills and still have some money left over that we can uh, support our local athletes that might not have been able to be involved in that uh, winter games that were here. Uh, you know, Special Olympics and the law enforcement torch run, which is what we're involved in around the around the year, uh, year after year. Uh, Special Olympics doesn't end; it just continues. It goes on to the next the next season. Different athletes are involved. You know, locally we have over a hundred athletes that are involved. It it's definitely going in a special place in my home. <laughs> it does it does mean a great deal to me. That I mean at at some point I. I'd like to pass on my knowledge to someone else, <laughs> but in the meantime, I will uh, certainly cherish that award.